Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we are talking about another type of performance testing called as stress testing. Now in our previous tutorial, we understood what exactly load is and it is all about measuring the performance for a given number of users provided by the customer. Now, of course, there is stress testing as well, which is performed for any particular application. And stress testing is defined as that a level of performance testing or a type of performance testing where we actually go beyond the limit provided by the customer. So assume that the customer requirement is up to 100 users to make sure that application works perfectly fine and meets all the performance parameters and requirements. But stress, you go beyond the number of given users that is 100 and more. So 100 and more or maybe more than the 100 users like 120, 130, 150 is you do test the application in order to see that whether it is stable, providing the same response time or not. Now the question comes, which I asked you in my previous tutorial, is that when I meet the expectations just by conducting load testing, then why should I go for stress, which is not an area of interest for the customer at all? And the big part is that, that when you conduct stress testing and you figure out that the crash limit is 120 or 130, but you still don't share that value with the customer, then why do you conduct it? So the logic behind conducting the stress testing is to just to make sure that when we conduct these executions in a virtual environment with virtual users, it should not fail at the critical point. So critical point for the customer is 100 users. And what if I go to 101 and the system crashes? I cannot give you that application as a product which is quality approved, right? So that's where I go beyond the limit to actually find out that what is the crash limit? Is it just next value of the defined limit or it is something far away? If not, I try to improvise the application in such a way that it at least meets the 25% of the given load. That means if the customer has asked you for 100 users, you make it safe for 125 users and then release the product to the customer. So that even if the customer is, it's, is use, utilizing the product at the optimum level, that means all 100 users are working simultaneously, you are sure that the application will not crash. Now that's where I want to make sure that the load limit is far away from the crash limit of the application. And very good examples are right in front of you. You talk about any water bottle or any oil containers. They, they're never filled till the top, till the cap. They always have a bottleneck, right? And even if you talk about two wheelers, four wheelers, and you see that there is a lot of weight, which is defined like the complete weight the body can handle is up to 300, kilo, 300 kgs. And uh, no matter how many people sit on that, still the bike is safe, the two wheeler is safe, right? So the crane hooks, elevators, it applies to everything, even the amusement parks. So you just have to observe them and identify that. How can you somewhere estimate that a crane hook can lift 10,000 tons? Then do you have a weighing machine to weigh 10,000 tons first and then measure it? No, you just predict that, okay, the limit is far, far away from the load limit and thus it will not crash. So plus or minus 1,000 ton is allowed. Now that's what this stress testing is all about. So that's all from this particular episode team talking about the stress testing. Should you have any other words or terms, terminology with you? Would you want me to discuss about that? Feel free to drop that in the comment box here. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.